we're at Baltimore Coffee and Tea in Timonium, and the reason we're here is because the movie He's Just Not That Into You, coming out in February, was set in Baltimore, and they used mugs and cups and signage from this store for the movie. So we are having a roundtable discussion with seven out of our 20 singles um, about dating rules and games um, with that whole theme in mind. <laughs> It's always the guy that has to call first. Do you, girls and guys, feel that way? I just, I thought it was very, you know, like, non-traditional, you mm -hmm. know, because I think that guys do generally call first. Yeah. Yeah. I've never I been called be first. I'm feeling a little... <laughs> I want to ask you guys, are there warning, particular warning signs that you can tell your date's not into you? Um, maybe excuses they give or just an attitude they have. The flowers you sent ended up back at your door. In, sh in shreds. You know, that's never happened to me or anything. But, you know. uh, it's just, right. it's almost effortless. So yeah. that's when you know. You know they start way. talking about where they like to go with their friends and they start giving you funny stories, you know, and mm -hmm. start bringing their family into it. You know, they're, they're you know, they're exposing a little bit more. I think it's usually a good sign. Right. Maybe she just wasn't that into it. <laughs> Maybe it just wasn't that into me. It used to be where we had to play games where, you know, well, I'll give her my number. If she calls, she's interested. Listen, nowadays, she's going to say, hey, I'm interested in you. <laughs> Women with really successful careers, do you feel that they can intimidate men sometimes? Because some people come straight out and say, like, I'm really intimidated by you. Or, and it doesn't even necessarily have to be career. It could be, you know, education. It could be... Um, Try, talk, trying to talk about what books each other reads, and then right. one person doesn't have any clue what the other yeah. talking about, and then you know, you start off as a cook and you become a chef. So, and it's funny because I, I had that situation, and no, nah, I think it's all it's all on the guy. Can you sniff that out though? Can you? Uh, yeah, you know, yeah, I think you can. You know, if I'm going to date a girl like somewhat seriously, I'm going to need her to be understanding and be able to kind of go on her own, go out with the girls a couple nights busy. and have fun and yeah. be independent. Do you guys have a time limit, same with calling, as far as having sex when you're dating? There's always one person that's kind of more invested yes. or yes. more, like if it's uh, no strings attached, like we just get along and have good sex. It just always seems like somebody's a little bit more into yeah. it or into yeah, the other sure. person. And just to like understand that it does get more um, emotional. It's kind of like not Breaking out everything exciting too quickly, right? Yeah. You're kind of like bringing out space. Like a little mystery. Yeah, exactly. Keep, you know, keep the little exciting yeah. things. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I have nothing to say on this topic. <laughs> anything in dating has a time frame yeah. anymore. Yeah. yeah. Like the rules call three days after you right. meet. I don't think there's any time frame. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I don't want to say anything specifically, not to jinx it, but everyone's getting along. I've heard some people say they might want to get together after this, so, and that's the whole idea. So that would be great. Oh, no. oh deal breaker. <laughs>